So here's the basic mock-up of what it turned out to be. Three USB ports there for charging stuff. The lipos, little uh, LCD. It's jumping time. Um, the lens on this is filthy. So this is Corbin's fairly new uh, trampoline. We got it for his second birthday. It's, uh, I don't know if you've seen this before, but it's spring, spring free. Um, so yeah, it's got like fiberglass po posts, sticks, whatever you want to call it. And they're all flexed around there. So yeah, it's super safe. Now we have a good place to chill out and jump, <laughs> don't we? Jumping. Jumping. So I just got a delivery and things are already falling out of out of it. So. Not a great sign when that sort of shit happens. Got in here. Let's see. Open it up. What have we got? Skateboard hardware kits. Bad choice for the packaging. Risers. Fucking red bearings. Black bearings. Or blue bearings. So disappointing when you spend weeks and weeks trying to improve your offer and improve your products, you know. And then you get shipped stuff like this. You know. Like. All I wanted to do was get all the skate, you know, the, the miscellaneous bits and pieces. Like truck risers, bearings, bolt, bolts, and spaces, you know. Pretty common things. Get it in a nice little package with my brand on it just so when people order my kits I just grab the little nice little box off the shelf pack it up send it away pretty simple concept but you know trying to actually make that happen is one of the the hardest things you know the simple things can be so frustrating in this business. Um, time for a DIY project to get me in a better mood. So, this is a, a battery that I made up of, it's actually got three lipos in it. Basically, I just wanted a portable 12 volt battery pack and um, yeah, this is, this is a quick job, but I wanna try to uh, install it all into an aluminium case. Um, maybe with a nice little LCD to show me the, the power and got a few uh, USB uh, little ports that convert 12 volt into 5 volt uh, at 2 amps just for charging mobile phones and stuff I'll try to remove this without So basically, I've got my three lipos. These are just the cheapest um, three cell lipos that I could get from Hobby King. Um, and I've just got a parallel board.
there's my three USB ports. Just stuck them on some double-sided foam stuff. Here's the guts of what I've made. The USB ports. Three of them running off the 12 volt battery. They're three cell batteries and they're in parallel. So it's 12 volts. So here's the basic mock-up of what it turned out to be. Three USB ports there for charging stuff. The LiPos, little uh, LCD, the discharge cables, um, and the balance cable in there. That's the on-off switch there. Just pull it, turns it off. So I've just put a layer of plastic over there to help smooth things out and give it a bit more structure. Now I'll uh, go ahead and put some shrink tube around it just to finish it off a bit better. Okay. And just some finishing touches. Okay, there you go. A homemade inertion power bank. It's got 15 amp hour at 12 volts so it gives us 180 watt hours and three USB ports there so we can charge up three devices at once. Take this camping and use it uh, for blowing up. We've got blow up beds and stuff like that so we can use the um, little fan to blow up the beds using this battery. So multifunctional. Come on, we're going to the beach. Nothing more refreshing than an afternoon swim. It's beautiful here, it's so peaceful. We've got the whole place to ourselves. Back to work tomorrow, huh? See you then.